All right, here with undoubtedly one of the coolest cars from Amelia Island Concourse 2019. A special guest, the Nissan R390 GT1 road car. So this is the road going variant that was created as a homologation special for the 97 and 98 Le Mans races so that this uh, GT could qualify um, and run in the GT1 class, which is vehicles based on road cars. So what they did is built a, an insane race car and then made one road going version, which is this. It was never offered for sale, uh, but, uh, but and is in the Nissan private collection. So to have this over here from Japan is really, really special. Let's look at some of the details. Up front, you've got um, a fairly simple nose. It sort of looks like the Almera from back in the day. Uh, and then headlights actually repurposed from um, the 300ZX Turbo, which is pretty cool to see. Oh, some Naka ducks here slight intakes and then big air extractors here in the upper hood um, that have some cool slashing to that um, to that effect and then you can also see parts of the push rod suspension inside that area there the leather wrap dash is pretty cool for um, what is just a, unabashedly a race car and road car clothes Cabin yeah, looks good. It's a right-hand drive vehicle, of course, um, which would make sense for Japan's road car market. Coming into the side, we've got some really cool details too. More air extractors behind the front axle there. Interesting spacing there underneath the door. And then of course, uh, a nice bubble canopy. It's pretty cool to look at. Racing gas tank inputs and then the carbon fiber top for this 3.5 liter V8 engine. This 3.5 liter V8 was making 550 horsepower, which is uh, quite a bit for a vehicle that is uh, this lightweight and dedicated. You see over here, you can see some of the heat wrapping and, um, and fire shields that are in the inside of the wheel well, basically to keep uh, the engine heat away from the tires and the brakes themselves, um, to keep that heat distinct and allow more um, dedicated set up for the airflow beautiful center lock alloys kind of remind me of the McLaren F1s and then actually some badges here <sighs> coming around the tail this is one of the coolest aspects of the car obviously as a, as a Le Mans car that you know back in the 90s um, before some of the changes to the track I mean this was a vehicle that was really expected on track every lap to hit you know upwards of 230 miles an hour so you really really needed this specialized aero package with this long tail as we see you know, look at how far the tail end is from the actual V8. I mean, there's like a good five feet there. And then this little flip of a, of a um, fixed spoiler is interesting. Would be helpful in uh, high speed curves. And then even like a nicely finished exhaust points. You've got the exhaust here at the edge of the bumper. And then open cutouts for um, all that heat from the engine to shoot out the back some cool cool sort of cool lighting I mean the lighting looks a little bit second like it like it was a little bit of afterthought which of course it was um, the race lighting would have been completely different so looking at the car from above is one of the one of the coolest angles so let's go up the hill a little bit so this R390 GT1 is it's got to be a legend I mean it's it's so special in Nissan's back catalog I've been hoping that they would bring it for years and years and they finally did absolutely magnificent so even though they made this road car it was never actually marketed it was never for sale so uh, but if it were the rumor is that it would be worth hundred million yen so I don't know what that translates to but probably like 10 or 15 million dollars which makes sense when you see this vehicle in the flesh it absolutely looks worth it <sighs> 